Hello boaters. Well, you haven't heard from me from a little while. Um, I've been quite busy recently. Um, also, my boat is in a fairly bad spot for internet anyway. The internet works around here, but it's slow and it makes uploading videos extremely difficult. So I've still been recording videos. I'm just saving them up for when I've got a decent signal. Unfortunately, that's a bit of a problem with the Oxford Canal bad internet signal although having said that it's, it's good in a few places but there's a lot of places where it's it's really quite dismal actually on all the travels that I've made around the country uh, the Oxford Canal is about the worst for coverage very surprising given that it's right in the middle of the country anyway I've been painting my boat roof or making a start on it it's quite rusty um, in fact it's very rusty and uh, it's a bit difficult to do because I've got a lot of stuff on the roof as well so things have to be moved out the way so I decided that we will I'll start on the worst areas of rust and I'll be breaking the roof down into like small little chunks um, getting them done and then moving on to the next little bit uh, and that's the best way so I've broken the roof down into small little bite-sized chunks and we're just going to do one chunk at a time so the process is to get the angle grinder and with a very coarse sanding disc take off as much of the rust as possible and then go over it with a wire brush on the angle grinder that gets into the rust pits to try and get as much of the loose rust out as I can. The next stage would be to rust treat it and then a coat of primer and then a top coat and you really need to get to the grinding stage to the primer stage you need to do that all in one day ideally because if you leave it go overnight then the dew will get on it and it can start to rust again so that's why I've been breaking it down into small sections. This video will show me doing a couple of those sections on the roof. Um, I chose the areas of the worst rust to do first. They were also, although they were harder work, in, in some ways they were simpler because of, for parts of the roof I'm going to have to move solar panels and things like that out the way. These areas were open and easy to get at at least. My roof is 10 metres long, I measured it. Currently I'm at, I've done 5 metres of the roof, so I'm only halfway. I'm having to work, you see, between the weather. Um, at times it's just blisteringly hot on the roof and I can't even touch the metal, uh, let alone paint it or anything like that. And other times I'm in the shade where I can work because the trees are shading me, but then you get a lot of leaves and stuff blowing out of the trees. So that's not really ideal for painting either. And we've also been having lots and lots of thunderstorms. So I, I've been, it's, it's actually taken a couple of weeks just to do half the roof, um, just going out there and doing it when I can really. Um, so I'll just show you some video clips of what I've been doing and I'll talk you through it as we go. So this is the noisy and messy bit. I don't really like this stage, but it is quite satisfying when you see all the rust come flying off. Don't worry, I am paying close attention to where the power cable is. of hours to sand and wire brush down this small section of roof um, it's only about well I don't know five foot by six foot very small area but I've got to do it in sections because I've got so much stuff up here 
and now the next stage I've cleaned it off best I can well the next stage is to, to rust treat it problem is it's getting really hot so I don't know if it's gonna work let's just try this is all I've got anyway so I'm just gonna have to put it on the most important bits and hope it's enough It'll dry very very quickly I've, I've got to run out of this stuff it's too expensive to do the whole roof you see the steam coming off it um, but I think for the rest of it we'll use um, red oxide oh yeah this is a bit too hot really I've never seen it steam before. I haven't got much of this stuff, but it seems to be covering quite well. It's very thin stuff, it's like water. I've got this for free anyway because I got that rust treatment when I uh, cycled to New Mills on the uh, Peak Forest Canal and on the way there I found five pounds at the side of the road so that paid for that little pot of rust treatment I don't know if the camera's pointing in the right direction. I'm just hoping. Oh, that's it. That's all I've got left. Right. Better choose the most important things first then. Rusty piece. As it converts to rust, it turns black. Well, let's can coax a few more drops out of this. I think that's it. Oh well, that's going to have to do. And of course, now that I'm painting, I'm getting quite a lot of, quite a few insects and a certain amount of tree blossom getting blown onto the paint. Can't really do much about that in the summer. Got lots of flies all over it already. I'm not worried about finish. It's just protect the roof, that's all it is, that's all we're doing.
Right, that's nearly finished. The only thing is, can I keep the cats off it? It's going to be a few hours before it's touched dry. Yeah. So that's what's involved with painting the roof. Um, obviously I've got the, uh, the sections where I need to remove solar panels to do next. Hopefully I'll finish that before too long. Uh, it all depends on the weather and well, whatever, we'll do it when I can. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.